Here we have a set of very rare bone tools also found on this site along with all these lower paleolithic tools. In fact everything I'm putting up on YouTube and the uh, website all comes from the same place. These are very clearly not natural. They're definitely man-made tools. You can see they've got worked points leaving the guard for protecting the hands. They look very much like digging sticks, possibly for digging into chalk. But as you see, everyone is the same. Obviously, clearly, the design in the mind of the maker had a clearly defined tool that he wanted to make. And what's interesting is how very similar the sizes of them are. I've laid them out in order, but you can see these, the first two are identical in size, those two are the same, and these two small ones are also the same size. See, everyone, it's a very interesting way they've been cut. Some are regular, and some are not. Looks like they've been hacked out. That one, it's not a straight one. They're very rare, these bone tools, um, and it's not accepted that these were made by Lower Paleolithic man, Homer Heidelbergensis, sort of six to eight hundred thousand years ago. But these come all from the same source with all the other Lower Paleolithic tools. There's nothing Neolithic, Mesolithic uh, in this area. They're all much higher up the hill. All these tools were preserved in clay and alkaline soil, having been sealed by Moore Mill Lake about 475,000 years ago at the onset of the Anglian Ice Age, when this was the River Thames. If you want more details about the stuff I have, please have a look at the website, which is www.thefoundationofkingdavid.org forward slash EXEC. Thank you.